On today's video, are we in a housing bubble? Hi, my name is Adam Swartz. I'm a top real estate agent in Southern California. If this is your first time on my channel, it's all about real estate. We talk about real estate news. We do tips for agents, tips for buyers and sellers. So if you're into real estate, hit that subscribe button. On today's video, we're gonna talk about if we're in a housing bubble. Every time we talk about the housing market, we always keep on talking about how much higher price is gonna go. Is there gonna be a crash? What are we in a bubble right now? So just looking back at the stats, because if there's anything, we can always look at the past to figure out what's gonna happen in the future. So an article just came out last week in the Orange County paper stating that 23% of people can technically afford the medium home price of $819,000 in California right now. The last time it was lower than that was in 2007. Uh, right before the market crash and it was at 17% and actually below that was 11% and that was two months earlier. Currently right now in Riverside, we have a 33% uh, affordable rate. Uh, we were up at 43% last year. So we're down 10% of affordability because prices have gone up so much in just Riverside. So we're kind of seeing that, are we hitting the peak on prices? Because higher prices go, that means less people can buy, less buyers in the market, that means less competition, less competition brings prices down. So the question is, are we gonna do what we did back in 2005 and six and seven? And the reason why the housing market crashed last time wasn't because of anything other than people buying homes that couldn't afford. People that couldn't afford these really high prices and what ended up happening, we started doing bank statement loans, we started doing uh, adjustable rates, we started doing things like that just to get people into homes. And then, you know, you go into a 0% rate and all of a sudden that rate kicks up, you now then can't afford your house, prices haven't gone up because all these people are more supply on the market, no buyers, prices tank, you foreclose your short sale. So it should be a very interesting thing. Obviously uh, in two weeks, we have October 1st happening. That's when California, the end of the foreclosure and eviction policy. So we're kind of see what's gonna happen with that. Are we gonna see a massive amount of um, housing hitting the market, if more houses hit the market? Um, I don't think prices will go down too much because we have so many buyers out there right now that have just stopped looking because there's just no inventory out there for them to buy. But more supply hitting the market, prices will go down too. Right now, we just came out today that, or uh, this week, about 5% of inflation. If inflation keeps going up and they got, and the Fed's gonna have to raise rates, that's obviously gonna bring prices down. So we have so many factors right now that can control the market. So anyone who's saying that they already know what's gonna happen next year in the housing market, you just don't know. We have October 1st and the eviction and foreclosure moratorium's ending. That's step one. We're dealing with inflation right now. Are they gonna raise rate or not? And then two, we're at an affordability problem. Are banks now gonna start getting to a point where they need to get people into houses so much that they're gonna start going back to those adjustable rates just to get people into homes. And our buyers so desperate because rents are jumping up so much that they just wanna get into a house, who knows? So there's th those are the three main factors that I'm watching to figure out what's gonna go on with the housing market. If you're out there on the fence of selling and buying or whatever, look for these few things. One, always look at interest rates. If interest rates go up, prices will go down. Two, if interest rates stay the same, but we have a massive amount of supply hitting the market because of the foreclosure and eviction moratorium meaning, prices will go down. And then three, like if those two things happen at the same time, we're definitely gonna see a big drop in pricing. You know, maybe 10%, but right now the average sale price in Riverside right now, the medium home price is 560. So a 10% loss is $56,000, that's a big jump. So just keep an eye out for those things. We just don't know what's gonna happen. There's too many main factors, but we're gonna keep watching these numbers for you to let you know what is going on in this housing market. If you have any questions, members sure you can always reach out to me. I know there's so many factors and I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what's gonna happen, but I can advise you what's going on right now and make the best plan for you. Remember, we don't buy and sell because of money, we buy and sell to solve problems. So just remember that every time you're thinking about buying and selling. So hopefully you enjoy this video, comment below. Until next time, peace.